just bought this uh, first aid kit out of Poundland, so I thought I'd go through it with you as I open it up and uh, just see what's in there and see how good it is. That's in a nice little green pouch that fits on your belt. It's got two straps on there that seem pretty secure to me. Don't seem like they're going to rip too easily. So I thought even if there's nothing particularly good in here, this is just a nice little first aid pouch that will fit on my belt when I'm out. All right, first thing I've got here is a bandage. Is that five centimeters by 1.8 meters? Not too bad. Some tape to use with that. Oh, there's some uh, safety pins there, and then here we've got some alcohol wipes. Any of them are there? Four, four alcohol wipes. So if this is a bit clumsily done, I'm doing it on the fly. I literally just bought this and thought I'd uh, come out and have a look through it with you guys. What have I got here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine little plasters. And we've got some that are a bit bigger. About ten of those. And then another size up. I guess there's about ten of those. Eight of those. So you've got three different size plasters in there. Quite a lot of those. Some pad there. Not adherent. Five centimetres by 7.6 centimetres. Couple of dressings there, five by five centimeters, and then a little uh, first aid guide. That's quite handy to have in there. Does this cover foreign objects in the eye, burns, choking, insect stings, basic first aid, breathing, bleeding, nosebleed, sunburn. So it covers quite a few things. It's handy to have things like this, just a little guide. Even if you already know first aid and you've got basic skills and that, I think with any situation it's handy having the basics written down because you don't know how panicked or uh, how much noise or whatever's going to be around if there's some kind of emergency situation going on. So uh, I think that's quite a cool little addition to have that in there. So it's uh, not a bad little kit. Obviously you can always add your own stuff as well to there. I mean I'll probably put some pain relief tablets in there too, if nothing else. And there. So yeah, just a, just a quick look for you if you're looking for a, a basic first aid kit just for a, a day out, heck even a night out, that would probably um, be enough to suffice if you're only going for a camp out for one night, I'd have to say there's enough in there to get you by, as long as you're not trekking anywhere too dangerous, obviously if you're doing some rock or mountain climbing or whatever you'd uh, need something a bit more comprehensive but just for a night out in the woods like I do this is a uh, this is quite a handy little kit so if you if you're passing by Poundland and uh, like the look of it might as well give it a go sorry it's only a quick one but I thought I might as well uh, do a little video on this um, I've got some camping videos planned but they're in some reasonably public places so I've been waiting for the foliage to grow up enough to give me some decent cover before going out but uh, hopefully in the next month I'll, I'll be doing one I've got at least three planned um, anyway thanks for watching as always and uh, I'll catch you next time